Hello everyone, my name is Larseth and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 and this my Poland playthrough where we'll be doing uh, Poland can into space, winged hussars and one king to rule. This is part 16 now I believe and we are on the cusp of going to war with Denmark and Brandenburg in their unholy alliance. Um, in the last episode I tried <laughs> although it was a massive noob mistake by me, um, thinking I could enforce peace and join Sweden's war against um, Sweden, join Sweden's war against Denmark. Didn't realize I could because Denmark are the defender, not the aggressor. So we're gonna do this the hard way. We are, I'll put it at speed five for the moment so we can get this claim done. We're gonna form a claim on Bornholm and then we are going to declare war using that claim. I'm just thinking how many ships we got. 22. Uh, we'll see. There's not a fort on there so we'll probably be able to get it quite easily without even sieging it. I can't really be bothered to make um, any ships because we'll be able to... I mean Sweden have already controlled all of this and we'll be able to make these crossings because Denmark won't have any ships on the crossings to stop us. So, there we go. Let's go back and have a look at our Brandenburg. Oh, no, I'm looking at the wrong screen. Brandenburg, right there. Manpower is going down even further. They've got more mercenaries. They've still got uh, high mad troops, though, but we should quite easily be able to... Um, handle that. I'm going to fabricate another claim and I'm going to do it on Newmark, I think. And I got that again. I don't want that. Why would I want that? Why could I possibly want to piss off Austria? I see no reason to do so. Suicide! So what's... They're plus 46. They're probably going to be peacing out soon. We're learning a lot of places. Oh yes we are. Ooh, zoom all the way. Um, right, yes. I wonder if we can change who are our Denmark. Oh, uh, no, I'm reading the wrong person. Ottomans, Hungary, and Muscovy. Never mind. I was going to see if we could change rivals, but uh, to get this fabricating claim done faster. But it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Um. But that doesn't matter, because I think we are ready to declare the war. Oh, thanks, little Riga. See, that's so nice. Uh, of course, I have to wait for the war to wind the claim to finish before it declare war. God, I haven't played the European Universalis in probably about two weeks now. So, I'm just not paying attention. Everything's just going over, over my head. Who's this? Denmark and Brandenburg are about to probably stack wipe Sweden. Oh no, just got out of it. Either way, I know that that is the entirety of their troop base. Pretty much all of it will soon be mercenaries, I'm guessing. So we've got... So we just get them both on the same screen. There we go. There should be a stable government. Accept the demands or ignore them. Normally, I would accept. Uh, no, normally I would accept, but I really don't want to go give away admin pa power at the moment. So, no. Uh, right, Denmark are. Um, okay, their military starting to um, come back together, but Sweden will gradually um, siege down these provinces, and um, England. I've got, you can see, a pretty good blockade going on. I, I should think we wouldn't have too much trouble once this claim is done. Um, declaring war. And hopefully succeeding. Uh, Riga. I want to improve relations with Riga. Come on, I want the claims done. 
It's probably slightly... I mean, they're trying to get this so they could peace out at any time if they just wanted to take that province. Um, hopefully, they want to be greedy. What's our inflation at currently? 3.5... It's 46. That's 10 years of monthly autonomy. We're not really building all that much at the moment. So I'm going to take the uh, inflation. Who's going to rule? 3, 2, 3. Eh, average. Not too bad. Stability. Oh, see if we can get any... Recover negative stability. Fabulous. That's what I was looking for. Right, so... And with that... Austria royal marriage. Who else can we? Uh, do we need to? <sighs> Who else do we need to royal marry? Uh, Sweden, probably. Oh no, we're still royal married to Sweden. Right, let's deal with this. The Shem veto all your policies. Go behind their backs. Yeah, see, this is the reason as <laughs> Poland you get so many, um, so many ideas and stuff which reduce your and events which reduce your stability cost. Because <laughs> you end up spending your whole time on low limit legitimacy and low stability. It's a bit of an annoyance, but can't really do anything about it, unfortunately. It's all part of the charm of playing as Poland. All right, Riga's fine. You might as well maintain for a while. Have Brandenburg teched up? No, they haven't yet. So we are still one ahead on military. And uh, Denmark have, but then... Ooh, this could be interesting. I've just noticed. Does that count as one sea province? I think it does. Or maybe I'm wrong. I was trying to think, because their troops are now there, and we are now going to attack them as soon as this is done. So their homeland is undefended. Right. Cardinal Minister. One of the cardinals in Poland has proven to be a skilled administrator and already provides useful advice to the emperor. At this point, making a minister in our government would almost be only a formality, but an important formality nonetheless. Since he may grow more powerful yet, having a cardinal in our service would certainly lend us credibility with the Pope and strengthen our sentiment, the sentiment that Poland is a Catholic nation first and foremost. Yes, I want that. Just because the stability cost, papal influence. I'm not really too bothered about the other stuff, but still, that's, that's fine by me. Okay, so Sweden just went into a truce so they okay yeah that'd be why they took all of that that's still fine we still still uh go to war or try to go to war because denmark are only still at war with them um, that's uh, still allied with brandenburg if they started just picking up alliances left right and center now it might be a bit more risky but as they currently aren't. Meh. Not, not so bothered. Right, what is... Just before we declare war. Yeah, we are at our force limit. That's fine. I might as well accept this mission. Because worst case scenario, we don't end up taking it. This just cancel the mission. It's not that not that worrisome. Right. Claims just about finish. Right. Let's drop the speed down while we uh, get this war going. Right. So they're going to have Brandenburg. We're going to have Austria, Riga, and obviously we've got Lithuania backing us up. So for the moment, I'm going to just wait around here for Austria and Lithuania to catch up. Uh, I'll just give you money. I, money is uh, 
very easy to come by. Right, let's drop this down. Right, what I don't want is for um, Brandbridge to just come and, like, immediately stack wipe. Ooh. Okay. This is good. I'm liking this. So Brandenburg, right off the bat, they're going to get their army uh, mushed. Because Riga's two-star general are uh, <laughs> doing the work. We like this, although they're getting quite a lot of high rolls. Right, let's follow this up. Bye. And then we're going to go around this way, because we don't want to stack our attrition. So this, this is a good war. We like this war so far. Riga's fleet aren't going to fare terribly well, I fear. <laughs> but there we go. I mean, we don't need naval supremacy really at the moment. Oh, I love this music. So yeah, all these bits going to get sieged down, and that'll uh, speed this up a bit. Because once we've sort of... Because I don't believe Bohemia have given military access through um, through uh, them to, to Brandenburg. There's no risk of Brandenburg. Yeah, they haven't. So there's no risk of Brandenburg just swooping around in our flank. So we've got them sort of choked off at this point, essentially. Which is nice. Oh, maybe they have just given them military access. Or, oh, I think because they're in the HRE, they can just go over where the hell they damn please, pretty much. Oh no! <laughs> Don't get stack wiped, little Moldavia. It's okay, I, I don't mind. They can siege back their provinces if they want. Austria have got this. You got this, Austria. Even even Brandenburgian super soldiers can't withstand the wrath of the uh, the emperor. Right, so let's, uh, I think we stay here, actually, for the moment. See how this plays out. We're just essentially waiting for this fort to go down, and then we can advance. I can invest in new technology. I think I will. Thank you very much. Not that really Diplo is of much use to us at the moment. Ooh, so all these being sieged down nicely. So hope, we're going to see what we could do with Brandenburg. Hopefully we'll be able to do them quite a bit of damage. Um, make them break, at very least make them break some, some of their alliances with um, certainly um, Muscovy. That, that, I mean, I don't care about their alliance with Denmark because that's actually helped quite a lot. Um, but Muscovy can, uh, would be much, much nicer with one less alliance. Yeah, and Brandenburg have retreated all the way back here now. Um, and they're almost, I don't think they're probably going to make it off that island, actually. So I need some military access from you, please. Henry Mecklenburg. Well, maybe I didn't need that. I don't know. It doesn't really matter at this point. Oh, okay. 
Okay, I see what you, what you did there. Yeah, Brandenburg just jumped straight into a trap. Granted, it wasn't a trap that I set, but a trap nonetheless. This is going really well. I'm. I don't. I don't care. Habsburg on the throne is nice. Wow, Lithuania uh, loving that attrition. Can't get enough of it. No, this war is going um, going very well. See, even in my even in my um, uh, moments of newbiness, I can come out with uh, some times where things actually go my way. Oh, peace offer from Brandenburg. I can't wait until um, I just saw the dev diary for um, Marinostrum today, or the most recent dev diary for Marinostrum. And um, one of the things they've announced is that you'll be able to um, you'll be able to offer uh, unconditional surrender for the um, uh, well. To AI that you're sieging down, you'll be able to say, look, you know, you're you're screwed, basically. I'm going to kill you and um, get a massive reduction in, uh, well, basically all their, you give them an unconditional surrender and they're like, okay, take all my provinces, but their armies are sort of safe, so you can't just annihilate their armies. And if, if um, you give them that... Um, they have to send you a peace offer. And also, if you're being attacked, you can do the, the same thing in reverse, uh, which is really cool. So if you're getting, like, like in the war, in the, a few episodes ago where I was getting pummeled by Hungary and Ottomans, I could have just said, look, unconditional surrender. Um, do with me what you will, but save my armies, sort of thing. Um... I guess it's useful when you're being invaded by a, a power which is gr vastly greater to you. I mean, I wouldn't have done it then because I didn't. Even, didn't. I only lost one province. Um, but yeah, no, that sounds quite cool. I'm really looking forward to the. Um, I can't remember what it's called. Con Condoretti or something like that. It's basically a, it's a um, mechanic whereby you can um, let's cut them off at the pass you can rent your troops to you can rent your troops to other nations and they will pay for them the only annoying thing is they use your manpower so i can it i can quite easily see it as being a case of um like your troops will just get taken into a war and then sort of stack wiped uh, rather unceremoniously um, by whomever so they'll just uh, it's like you'll you'll give you'll rent your troops to somebody and they'll they'll just go right oh, I'm gonna go to war with France now and then they'll just get all your manpower annihilated um, I think that's I'm correct in thinking that they uh, they use your manpower but they pay um, pay for having said troops right well I think this war is almost done and then we'll end the episode once once that's happened and then also we've got a uh, tech 10 so we'll be able to uh, form Commonwealth soon but we'll see I'm not sure whether I'll do it straight away I haven't made, made up my mind yet. It'd be really nice if that one ship of Denmark's just sodded off. I don't want peace with you, Brandenburg. I'm going to make you sweat. Yep. Yeah. Oh, look at that high war exhaustion. Poor Brandenburg. I'm going to really make them suffer. Because I think, because I uh, didn't declare them as a um, co-belligerent, it's more expensive for me to take provinces, but I can still, you know, mess them up in other ways. Right, let's go and finish off this uh, Danish army. Ooh, look at that. Nice, nice, nice. 
Stack wipe. Yay. Hoorah. Right. I don't even think... Let's get Brandenburg out of this war. Let's see what they're willing to accept. Suggest demands. No. No. Just no. Right. I want lots of things. I want all the things. Right. Let's first of all get rid of your alliance with Muscovy. That's the first thing that's got to go. Let's see. I mean, we could theoretically get them to release Pomerania, but no. Because I want that land. Or the Teutonic Order, just so we can beat up on them some more. No. We're going to go for... Um, so, a no law treaties with Muscovy. We're going to... See, we're going to get unlawful um, territory, aren't we? Actually, no, we won't on this one, because Newmark isn't in. Ah, aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Some of these territories aren't actually in the... Um, in the Empire. So, it might... Well, Newmark isn't, and I'm quite happy to take Newmark. It gives us a nice bonus to... Um, to... Uh, What's it called? Manpower. So we'll take those. I think that should be fine. Who's gonna who's it gonna piss off most? Platinate. Um Let's get I want I want your money. We want war reparations, we want give up all claims in Poland and that looks okay to me I think let's see where that takes us so Australia Australia no Austria are immediately gonna declare unlawful territory I imagine it should be it should be fine though. I mean, we've got the same dynasty and everything, so even if I decline it, they're not going to be that annoyed at me. But we'll wrap up this war in the next episode. Thank you very much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.